Lazy self, and you're dirty for the table, man. Huh? I've been out the boat helping somebody, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let, let me, Thomas, man. You lazy, man. Let, let me, let me, let me show you something important. What are you doing? I was watching something. Hey, yeah, yeah, watch this. I can show you something that all the behemoths and all us need to learn and know and start with you. The Bahamas is famous for its abundance of fish, but lately one has been standing out. And it doesn't belong here. It's the lionfish. But what are lionfish? Lionfish come from the Pacific and Indian Oceans, but they are spreading around the world. Because of the aquarium trade, they have been seen in the Red Sea, the Azores, North America and the Caribbean. But some scientists believe that the Bahamas has been hit the hardest by these invaders. I mean, they're everywhere in the Caribbean now, but they just haven't filled out their density like they have here in lots of other places. We also don't know if the lionfish are just an anomalous example, of something special about them. I mean, their spread rate is just astonishing. And the, the, the rate of population expansion is just, I mean, I can't think of anything else like it I've ever seen. You know, just in a couple years, they've conquered a whole region. Grand Turtle Key's second homeowner, Bobby Lindsay, remembers the first time she saw a lionfish here in 2008. Right here at the dock. Two in the front and two in the back. I hadn't seen any, I'd heard about them. I'd heard that they were invading, and I recognized it, of course, immediately, and knew it wasn't out of place. Because pet owners tire of the aquarium fish and release them irresponsibly into the wild, North America and the Caribbean are being invaded by red lionfish, one of several lionfish species. They quickly took over the Bahamas. The first one was not spotted here until 2004, right off the coast of Nassau. But by 2010, they were everywhere. They are red or maroon with white stripes. And they can spread their pectoral fins out like a fan, resembling a lion's mane. The dorsal spines are long, separated, and venomous. There are also three short venomous anal spines and two short venomous pelvic spines found under the pectoral fins. The venomous spines act like needles. They puncture the victim and the venom flows through the hollow spine and into the injury. Even though lionfish are aggressive hunters, these spines are for defense only and it's not their only defensive tactic. Yeah. They can sweep their fins back to swim in quick bursts, to find a ledge, hole, or crevice to hide it. When they are not out hunting, they are usually located in these hard to find places. And they like structure, anything that's metal, old cranes and ships. The junk we throw overboard is supporting a nasty invasive species that we introduced. Their stripes and fins help them blend into their surroundings. This is how they lay in ambush. When fish come close, they use their pectoral fins to herd prey in the corners and eat them very quickly. As long as the fish will fit in their mouth, it will be eaten. These guys ain't picky. Like humans, lionfish love the Bahamas and are very quickly taken over. Compared to the Pacific, red lionfish are growing larger, reproducing faster, and have a higher population density. In their native range, you see them, but they're not abundant at all. You could see one or two on a dive or a snorkel in the Great Barrier Reef or in Tahiti. Um, I've never seen one in the Pacific, and I've worked there a fair amount, and you know, they're there. This is an impossible situation. 
I think they could get a little more common and they could start really decimating our other predatory fish, grouper and snapper, eating them when they're small. They are a major threat to our native species. They can mess up the balance of predator and prey in our marine ecosystems. And that could be real bad for our fishing, sport fishing, diving, and ecotourism industries. What impact they're going to have in the long term. That's in part what, what we're trying to figure out. It, it's honestly almost impossible to know. Science is is still on a steep curve, a uh, learning curve. Yeah, I mean, this could be 10 or 20 PhD dissertations. Yeah, it's a great opportunity for graduate students. This whole situation is interesting for scientists. And there are many projects going on here. They may even be able to solve this invasion problem. But in the meantime, Bahamas are going to have to do something with this pesky but tasty invader. See, Thomas, you learned something? I knew a lot of that. But you know what? We got a lot to learn about lionfish right here in the Bahamas. You know what, Thomas? I'm glad you said that. Because this next video here we're going to watch is all about scientists studying lionfish right here in the Bahamas. So let's watch, man. <laughs>